Hi, I'm Ed with Rigid. Today we're going to show you how to use the 819 nipple chuck. The capacity for the 819 nipple chuck is from 1 8 to 2 inch. As standard equipment, it comes with adapters to do half, 3 quarter, 1 inch, inch and a quarter, and inch and a half. For 2 inch, you simply use the base as you see here. And this is where you would screw your pipe on. Okay? Also what comes with it is your nipple chuck wrench, your insert, and the hanger so that you can put all your parts together. Okay? In the next video, we're going to show you how to prepare the pipe so that we can start the process of creating a close nipple. In this portion of the video, we're going to start doing our threads for the 819 nipple chuck. Once you have your pipe inserted in your machine, as per the previous videos on the 535M, you'll thread and ream the pipe as you normally would. Now it's important that the thread is dimensionally correct and what I mean by that is it can't be oversized or undersized. If it is oversized what's going to happen is it's going to jam itself onto your adapter by way of the threads and at that point then you won't be able to get it off unless you use a pipe wrench. If it's undersized what's going to happen is this part of it right here actually backs out when you release it as you can see here. Okay and what happens at that point is it will bury this to where you won't be able to get the uh, pipe off of there again so you're going to have to use a pipe wrench to get it off. So it's important that this is dimensionally correct. In other words, once again, it's not oversized or undersized. Okay? Uh, what we usually use here is a simple thread gauge and you can use a coupling as well with the machine in the off position. What you want to do with this here is you want to make sure that it is flush plus or minus a thread. What you would do if you had a coupling is you would look at the specs for a thread and determine how many threads of hand tight engagement you should have. And at that point, you'd make your determination if you need to be undersized or oversized. So at this point, we're going to cut the pipe. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the scale. And as you see here, I'm going to put my cutter wheel against the end of the pipe, put this on zero, and then I'm going to measure the length of the thread itself and that is about seven-eighths of an inch. It is seven-eighths of an inch, so you multiply that times two, it's an inch and three-quarter. So we'll continue to an inch and three-quarter right there, and we're going to cut the pipe right there. So we, here we have our pipe nipple that we're going to create the nipple with. We'll take this out of the way. And now we will install our 819 nipple chuck. So what I'll do is I'll back the carriage out, back the hand wheel so that the jaws are in the open most position. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to align these flats with the jaws. and you'll tighten that as such, just like, just like you would the pipe. At this point, I'm going to use my insert for one inch. So I'm going to put that on there like so. I'm going to put my adapter on. And with the machine off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my insert wrench on there and just make sure that that's good and, and snug. 
at this point I will put <coughs> pardon me I'll put my nipple on here okay I'll turn my machine back on and now I will thread and ream just as if you would if it was a piece of pipe that was sticking out of the machine Okay, so now with the machine off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the, the wrench pin into the housing of the 819 nipple chuck. I'm going to push that that way and release this. And there you have a close nipple. <laughs>